Hey everyone, Santat here, and today I want to teach you about something called a close packed plane and why in Rune Factory it lets you do something like this where you fit more plants than you should. Normally you should only fit 16. Here I fit 27. That's like 70% more. So how do we do that? Well, today I was in the lab and let's cut to that right now. Hey everyone, Santat here at work and I found these cool magnetic beads. Uh, they're just beads, they stick together, uh, they're magnetized to one another, so they form these cool, weird shapes. And I thought that was pretty cool because it reminded me a lot of Rune Factory 4 Special Edition and the farm. And the thing is that these beads can teach us a lot about how to make our farm better uh, using this item called Free Farming Boots and about a physics concept called Closed Packed Planes, like this guy over here. But first, let's look at this grid thing. And as you can see, uh, we have a grid of 12 beads by six. Um, the grid behind it is one centimeter for the thick lines. And this actually looks a lot like the farm. Uh, it's very nice and convenient. But as you can see here, uh, between each of these circles, you have this small diamond shape. Uh, this diamond shape that's just a blank space uh, at the corners of each of the circles. Now in this thing we call the close packed plane, this is just the way it's sorted, such that that space is minimized. And we can see that instead of those big diamonds, we get these little tiny triangles, and the spaces are much smaller, and the thing is more closely packed together. Uh, that's why it's called a closed packed plane. It's a plane, which is just a flat surface, that is more closely packed together. And what's really cool is that closely, pa yeah, closely packed planes just naturally form whenever things are wanting to be stuck together. Uh, like these magnetic beads. So if I just get these and I just squish them as tight as I can to form a flat plane, you'll find that we have regions that are closely packed. We have this place over here, and uh, we have this, basically you can see a line going in this direction where things form these triangles, hexagons, and it's same deal over here. Uh, between that, we have this region where nothing really seems to make sense. We call that an amorphous region. But yeah, so with the power of close packed planes, we can put things more closely than we could in this, in the square one. So how does that relate to Rune Factory? Well, it turns out that uh, the plots in Rune Factory are actually circular. Um, they actually have these circular shapes. Um, so this normal configuration is not the most compact we can get. We can actually get this one. So let's put these both in line. So we have this looking just like the farm in Selfia. And here, we have it perfectly aligned along the top. And as you can see here, we have this spare space all along the bottom. And along the bottom, if we use free farming boots, we can just add a whole extra row. And they stuck together. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can add this whole extra row and we can make our farm that much more efficient. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so welcome back everyone. And like I said, all we want to do to make our farm more efficient is use our free farming shoes to create some close packed planes. So we can easily make free farming shoes in our crafting table. Its difficulty level is 8, which is very, very low. So you should be able to do this very early on in the game. And once we have it, we can see what they do. So normally when you want to till the soil, you normally do it in this square grid formation, uh, which you can see here. However, once I use my free farming shoes, uh, I can till the soil wherever I want within the field, uh, which is very, very nice. So let's quickly clear the field, at least from this corner. And so what I like to do is I like to start on the left side and go to the right slightly until the red square appears. Now I can actually go a bit lower, so I'm going to press it down slightly, go right, down slightly, go right, and eventually it'll stop appearing. Once that's done, I go up slightly, go right, up slightly, go right, and it should appear. And now I'm going to just go to the left and keep pressing right until it appears. So it's just some simple alignment, and once it's there, we can start. And basically, um, all I want to do is I'm going to just mash the B button. And I will keep hoeing in a row. And eventually the entire row will be filled. So this will give me um, the full normal row, so 12 uh, tills. And then what I'll do is I'll go up slightly, uh, keep going left until it appears, it's not, go up slightly. That was not slightly, so I'm going to go down again. Up slightly, up slightly, and right, cool. 
And as you can see here, uh, the square keeps flashing on and off. And that is by nature of the closed packet planes. So as you can see on the top here, uh, if we were trying to go in a slide this row across, uh, it'll have to go up at times. The bottom of this circle will intersect with the top of this circle. And because of that, uh, we can't slide it neatly. Uh, the, this plane is a bit resistant to sliding. And that's pretty interesting, and that's physically actually meaningful uh, with regards to things like metals moving and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, Brute Factory. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start on the left again, uh, find the center of that where it'll appear, and then just repeat the same thing, bash the B button. And eventually we will form our row. And so normally, uh, in this bottom row, we should only be able to do two rows. But here, we're going to start our third row. And we're still mostly in our older one. So I'm going to start from the right here. And so just wiggle up and down. Cool, and here we are. And repeat. Uh, yeah, um, so that's basically all we do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep on doing this. I'm probably going to just keep talking about random science stuff. Uh, first, we're going to get rid of this. Um, but yeah, uh, this is actually really cool and interesting for a few reasons. Um, the big one, scientifically, uh, is that this is actually how a lot of materials are structured. Um, so as we saw in the sort of magnet thing, whenever things are wanting to be attached to one another, like magnets or things that are electrically charged, um, they would tend to want to follow in those same closed packed planes. Um, and uh, if you know anything about atoms and stuff like that, you know that atoms are naturally charged. Um, you have a central nucleus surrounded by negative electrons. And because we have negative electrons and things are charged, atoms in general are charged, and atoms in general will form a closed packed plane. So metals actually form these sort of structures. Uh, we get a plane, and on top of that, you'll get another plane, and so on and so forth. And yeah, so this is very closely packed together. And now let's try and make another row um, here. Uh, but obviously they're in 3D, so you would stack um, different planes on top of one another. Um, in 3D, there are two sort of confirmations you can have. Uh, one of them is called hexagonal close packed. You can probably guess why, because it's hexagonal. And the other one is called face center cubic. And that's pretty funny because if you basically rotate these hexagons, you get something that looks like a cube. But anyway, okay, so here we are. We have this confirmation that looks mostly full, but here's the weird thing. For some reason, the game is not letting me hoe anymore. Um, and that's just basically a weird quirk of this game. Uh, it seems that on a lot of the fields, there is a maximum amount that we can till. Uh, that number seems to be 76, if I can't write. So here we have 12, um, another 12, another 12. So 12 times six, that's 72. And I guess that is 73. Um, if I chop this down, Uh, when I get my hoe, I can add another one. If I get this down, I can add another one. And if I get my axe, I can chop down another one. And this is a weird interesting quirk of the game. Uh, it's not going to let me add any more than these 76. Uh, 76 is the maximum amount of stuff that can fit in any one field. And that's something that we found out from this game, which was from using free farming shoes. But uh, these four uh, extra plots are four extra ones that we wouldn't get on this farm without it. And also, nothing else will form on our farm now, so we won't get any more of the weeds forming, which may be good, may be bad. Uh, there are a few interesting and cool things as well. Um, so because we're only using the bottom two rows of this, uh, that means we can use things like Formula C and Greenifier much more efficiently. We don't need to do the top ones. We can save like these five spaces if we put these four tools in the same one. But what's much more interesting and significant is uh, if we go to the seasonal farms, uh, so I'm going to fly to the summer field, which is where we started from, um, because the summer field has less than um, 72 spaces, a lot less than 72 spaces, we can go to our maximum packing density. And here we have 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4, like I said in the start, that is 27 plants. I can fit 27 plants where normally I would only fit 16. 
And that's really, really nice. So that means in like Summerfield, you can plant pineapples, uh, which people do often a lot. And so of 16, you can do 27 in the exact same area. Or you can do things like these emery flowers, uh, which take a really long time to grow. So this is very, very useful if you are planting something that takes a long time to grow. Uh, it does take a bit of time to actually set up the farm, as we saw, but it makes up for it in just how quick it is, uh, and how much space you can put in, I mean, and how quickly you can grow things overall faster. As well as in winter farm, with your golden vegetables and stuff like that, because they take so long to form, and the winter farm is so restricted in space, we can fit a whole lot more stuff in there. But yeah, uh, that is basically all I wanted to say. So the summary is that close packed planes are really, really cool. Uh, if, once you notice these, you'll see them everywhere. Like in your supermarket, you'll find that like the fruits, like the apples and oranges are also stacked in close packed planes. Just because it means that the supermarkets can fit more fruit in the same area. And speaking of fruit, we're in factory. Uh, <laughs> we're plotting more things in the same area. But yeah, so with the power of close packed planes and free farming shoes, we can put more stuff in our farms. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. This is a weird science video game, weird combination stuff. If there's anything else you want me to talk about, let me know. And I'll see you all next time.